What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a fantastic day. Why? Because we're going to be talking about some plants today, that's why. Now, I got myself a plant, but today is going to be for the beginners on uh, plants, specifically on mistakes beginners make when they buy plants, um, specifically at uh, PetSmart or Petco. They, they sell the same plants. Um, a lot of beginners get their first plants from there. And uh, some of the mistakes that I'm going to mention, I made myself. All right, so uh, let's just dive right on into it. Now, the first biggest mistake that people make when they're buying plants for the first time at PetSmart is they just look at a plant that they see, they see it in a tube, it's near the aquarium section. They just assume aquarium plant and they buy it. Um, not all of their plants are aquarium plants. Um, there are quite a few that are uh, terrarium plants. They're not meant to be submerged. Okay, so uh, I'm going to help you out here. Whenever you're looking at plants, look at the back and see uh, there'll be a circle where it'll have an A or an S. The A means aquatic, the S means semi-aquatic. And by semi-aquatic, they mean literally not meant for a fish tank at all. It, they're meant for terrariums. They don't grow underwater. Um, you, they can grow immersed in really soggy, damp water. And I'm going to point those plants out to you. I, I know the plants at Petco and PetSmart. I've got them memorized. Um, and uh, the most common plants, for some reason, that everyone buys for the first time when they're looking at all of them are the uh, golden white ribbon plants. Um, that was the first one that I bought too. Not an aquarium plant. Um, and like I said, the package does tell you, but of course an employee is not going to point that out to you. And you don't know that you should look for it because... You're at a pet store, you're in the fish section, you assume all the plants there are for aquariums. So, uh, white and gold ribbon plants, not aquatic. Um, peacock plants, not aquatic. Lucky bamboo, not aquatic. That was one I bought also, thinking it was an aquatic plant. It is not an aquatic plant. It will die on you. They also sell uh, a grass called Mondo grass. And they don't sell that in the tubes or in the tissue culture bags. That's with the agar, the gel. They actually sell those submerged um, in a little uh, rubber band up um, in a tank. And it's, it's not uh, an aquatic plant at all. It's literally lawn grass. It is a bog grass. It does not grow underwater. It's just yard grass. And they cut it up, and then they sink it into a tank, and they sell it. And that's the one that isn't marked at all. It just says Mondo grass. It is not aquatic. So um, in their tanks, at most uh, pets, Mar and Petco, um, that, that will be selling already submerged will be uh, cryptocorns, which are aquatic, and a hornwort, which is a stem plant, you can just float it. All right, so the second biggest mistake that um, uh, beginners make when they're buying their plants at PetSmart and Petco is they don't understand the difference between a, a rooted plant, a plant that grows in substrate, meaning whatever you have at the bottom of your tank, soil, aquarium soil, dirt, whatever, pebbles, Whatever that may be, uh, they don't know the difference between a rooted plant and a rhizome plant. Now, a rooted plant actually grows roots that need to go into your substrate, and it grows from the substrate up. Now, rhizome plants are plants that don't grow um, with their roots in substrate at all, nor do they out in the wild. Um, those rhizome plants are your different types of ferns that you'll find at uh, Petco and PetSmart and all the different types of Anubias. Uh, those grow 
they they get their nutrients from the water column. So you actually attach those to um, you know uh, to driftwood uh, or to a, a rock or something like that. And they don't tell you that either. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, when when you're looking at it and you see that it's aquatic, it also will tell you how tall it'll get. It, it'll give you a very uh, general idea as to what kind of care it needs. So if you get an Anubius, it will mention not to bury the roots or the rhizome or it'll kill it. But like I said, this is a, a common mistake. We see the plant, we buy it, we read absolutely nothing on there. It dies and uh, we're like, whoa, we, we failed. Well, yes, we did fail. The first way we failed is by reading absolutely nothing and just assuming that it's an aquatic plant. Uh, so, uh, with that said, um, I will point out that all of the rooted plants that they have that you will find in the tubes that uh, can be stuck in substrate are, are sword plants, cryptocorn undulatus, and any of their stem plants. Temple, Bacopa, Alternethera, Reneki, I always say that weird. Uh, <coughs> Cardinals and um, uh, dwarf hair grass, and then uh, rhizome plants will always be any kind of like Java fern, um, Asian water fern, Bulbitis, and then Anubius. Any kind of Anubius you find, Nana Anubius, Congenus Anubius. Uh, those are the rhizome plants that need to be attached to something and not and not buried. So, with all that said. I hope that helps you when you're picking out uh, plants, but also know what to look for. Um, I bought myself um, a o Ozelot, Ozelot um, sword plant. It's a sword plant. That's all I really need to know. They, uh, they all grow the same, but what I like about this one in general is that it can grow... Uh, reddish to bronze colored leaves and that's what I like about it over your other uh, sword plants um, like the compacts and the rosettes and the Amazons they're all green um, so anyway that's my quick rundown for you beginners when you're uh, shopping at those big pets at those uh, big chain stores um, read the labels Make sure it's an aquatic plant. And, or if you want, save this video because I just named off every single plant that they have that's not aquatic and the ones that are aquatic. So, I hope that helped you. I know not all of you are beginners, but I've, I've had some beginners, um, new subs, come in and ask me questions about some of these plants. And uh, I'm just, I, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to throw this video out there because I, I had so many new subs come in. I, I forget that a lot of you that have been following me are no longer beginners and we're way past all of that, but new people come in and they still need advice. Uh, so there's your advice with the plants. And I will make a beginner video for substrates. I will make a beginner video on lighting um, and uh, water, the whole nine yards. So there you go. And I think this is probably the fastest video I've ever made. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Thanks again to all the new subscribers. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And like always, if you're having a bad day, you're down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. Catch you guys next time.